How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be going over iOS 7 for beginners on the iPad and iPad Mini. And uh, the whole point of this video is to basically get you up to date on some of the newer features that have been added to the iPad um, with the new update so that you can use your iPad and um, you know enjoy it. Because again, some of the changes they've made are pretty big. And so uh, this video is going to get you prepared for that so you can use it and enjoy it the way you have always enjoyed it. So first things first, one of the big changes that was added to the uh, iPad with iOS 7 is was called Control Center. And the way Control Center works is you, basically if you start from the home button and just swipe up, it brings up this menu here. And um, this is the menu you used to bring up by double tapping the home button. You don't have to do that anymore, you just swipe up and you now have access to a, a music controller to play your music. You have access to airplane mode. You can turn it on and off here. You also have a switch that will turn your Wi-Fi on and off, which is very good in terms of um, your battery life. Because just by turning off your Wi-Fi can uh, double the battery life of your iPad. So when you're not going to be using the internet, just go ahead and swipe up and just turn it off. And it will make things so much easier. I'm going to turn it on right now though. Uh, the next thing is uh, Bluetooth. You now have a Bluetooth switch, so you can just tap that if you do want to connect to a uh, Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphones or anything like that. You also have Do Not Disturb mode, and when you tap this, um, you're basically silencing um, your iPad so it doesn't make noise, especially if you're trying to sleep. And lastly, you do have a silence. You have... Um, Basically, putting it on vibrate or putting it on silent just by using the uh, the uh, silencer right there as well. We also have a compass and we have the camera right here. So if you want to take a quick picture, you just swipe right up and boom, the camera's right there. So I definitely love that about iOS 7. Uh, they definitely have finally made it easier to get to the things that people use the most, as well as a nice little shortcut to get to the camera here. Over here, we do have a volume switch. So it, now it's easier to turn to control your volume up and down just by swiping up. Uh, AirDrop allows you to transfer contacts with other people that have iPads and iPhones. Um, it will do more, but right now it's still in the basic stages of the app. And you also have this option for AirPlay. And basically what this does is uh, you have an option to, to actually mirror your iPad to an Apple TV. Basically, you can everything on your screen, you can have it mirrored to your TV by using this AirPlay right here. And so whenever this um, symbol comes up, it means that there is a device that you can AirPlay with. My Apple TV is on, and that's why um, that is there. So um, they just made it easier and eliminated the steps. You can get to AirPlay a lot faster. And lastly, we do have our brightness adjuster to uh, adjust the brightness of the iPad right there. So this is control center. This is what this is called. And all you have to do to bring it up is start from the home button. Don't press, you're just in one motion, you're swiping up, okay? Swipe up and when you're done, you just swipe down. Real simple, okay? Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is search. Now the iPad uh, used to have a feature where you would hit the home button you know, so let's say you're in an app, you hit the home button, it takes you back to home, which is the screen we're on right now. And then when you would tap the home button again, it would take you to an option where you could do a search. You could search the iPad, you could search your email, you could search um, basically anything on the iPad, you could search it from that search section. Well, they've moved it. Now when you hit the home button and you're on the home screen, it doesn't do anything. The way you bring up that search is by swiping in the center of the screen. And now up here is where we have the search. Let me do it again so you can see, it's a little tricky. So, so anywhere in this section of the screen, so towards the center, in one motion, you're going to swipe down, okay? So if you swipe up, it doesn't do anything. It's very important to know. It's one motion you have to swipe down. And that brings up the search and then you could search like, um, let's, let's put in bank. Type in bank, you see um, different, you know, credit card, you know, like uh, uh, emails from Bank of America. You see apps, this, that. 
you know, so that's what the search is designed to do is to help you search different things on your iPad. So literally just again, one motion. So you don't press, don't press down and go like this. It works, but you run the risk of launching an app. You don't want to do that. You just want in one motion, you want to just swipe down like that. Okay. Swipe, practice that right now. Okay. And then you just tap and then it goes away. So that's the second new feature they've added is just being able to bring up that search a little bit easier just by swiping down just like that. Okay. So the next thing um, that uh, iOS 7 has changed, and not changed too much, but more so the look has changed, is the um, notification center, which the way you bring that up is you swipe down from the top. So basically, I always say start the camera and just swipe down, and that will bring up uh, the notification center. Now, uh, before it was only a small strip in the center. Now it covers the entire screen, and you can look at you can separate by looking at today, all, or missed. So you have a lot of different options that are encompassed now in notification center. They haven't made too many changes to it, but I just kind of wanted to show it to you just in case you weren't aware of it. And uh, now we're going to swipe back up. And the last thing, which is one of the biggest changes they've made, is how you communicate with your running applications. So I'm not sure if you know, but every time you open an app and you, let's say if I open up um, the clock, okay? Every time I open the clock and I hit the home button, I'm not closing the app. The app continues to run even though I've gone back to the home screen. Most people think... Once they press that button, it closes the app. It's not true. The app continues to run in the background. Unless you go and actually turn it off, it will continue to run. If you have too many apps running, it will slow your battery down. So the way you bring up the menu to see what apps are running is by hitting your home button twice. You just tap, tap, and that brings up your running applications. So I have quite a few apps running right now. Okay. And so the way you close these apps, now in, in the past you would hold down on the app and that would allow you to close it. Well, that, that's not how it works anymore. The way it works now, you have to swipe up. So for example, if I want to close the Apple Store, I'm going to swipe up and that's what actually closes the app. So one by one, I've got to swipe up on each one. Now I think it kind of sucks because there should be one button that just closes everything but unfortunately they haven't added that feature yet I think one day they will make it so you can just hit one button that closes all the apps for now you do have to close each one individually um, but it's definitely important it's something you should do every day I know people that don't do it but once a month and their iPad runs slow and they wonder why that's one of the big reasons that iPads can run slow is you have all these apps running and you don't know it because you never go to close them so once we're done just tap the screen and you're back to the, the home screen so uh, this has been iOS 7 for beginners in a nutshell. Just kind of those are the some of the differences that have been done, and hopefully now that you've seen it, you kind of know how to interact better with your iPad. So just to do a quick recap, um, just swiping up from the top brings up notification center, uh, excuse me, control center, and you just swipe back down to swipe back down to close it. Then swipe down in the center of the screen that brings up your search. And then just tap and then now go away. Notification center is starting at the camera, swiping down. There it is. Swipe back up. And the fourth thing is double tapping on the home button. We'll take you to your running apps. We don't have any apps running right now, but let's actually open one for the sake of the argument. So open notes here. Okay, I'm gonna go back home. Now I'm gonna double tap the home button, and there's my running app. So I'm just going to swipe up and that now will close it so I don't have any apps running. Alright, I hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you uh, like the video if we did find it helpful. Uh, share it with anyone you know that maybe is having trouble with iOS 7. Again, it's a little different. It's, it's newer. So um, lend a hand, help them out. You know, that's the whole point of the video. Uh, keep watching. We appreciate you stopping by. Take care and have a good one.